welcome or welcome back to the vlog. We are here in London, starting off our UK trip. Glasses is filled <laughs> with rain. Yeah, it's been raining off and on. We got here at about 11 o'clock a.m. Um, we just kind of walked around until our hotel was ready and then we kind of chilled in there for a little bit and now we're walking around so we can beat jet lag. Um, barely slept, it was an overnight plane, but we barely slept on there. So very, very tired. It was a really nice flight though. The main long flight was very smooth and it was very empty too. So pretty much everybody got like their own row where they could just lay back and relax. But yeah, so the sun has peaked out and we are over next to Big Bend and the Westminster Bridge. So right on the banks of the River Thames. Yep. So dad's going to look for birds. I'm going to take some photos and we'll show you around. We're going to be here in London for about five, six days, I think. And then we're headed up to Scotland. So make sure you're subscribed to see all the awesome videos. Thank you. We're done wandering. We made a stop by the grocery store, which is conveniently located just across the street from our hotel, and picked up some provisions for the next couple of days. Unfortunately, this hotel room doesn't have a refrigerator or a microwave or anything besides beds, pretty much. Um, but we got some stuff that obviously doesn't need to be refrigerated. <laughs> And yeah, we're just gonna call it a night. It's like, I don't know, 6.30ish, maybe watch a show and then go to bed. I actually used the credit for the last time we were supposed to be here. Yeah, so basically flashback to 2020, I had a trip booked for the UK, this trip. And it was canceled, obviously, you know why. So I had a hotel credit for this hotel. So that is what I used. So I basically am not paying this time around, but I did pay in the past. So it's an okay hotel, except for the fact that there isn't anything to put food in. <laughs> <laughs> and there's not really a table or anything, but it's fine. It's not like we're gonna be here a ton. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go to Westminster Abbey just to take some photos in the morning. I wanna try to see the changing of the guards. And then we're going to go to, I think, the natural, the National Gallery. So as you can tell, I'm really sleep deprived and don't know what I'm saying anymore. So let me just flash you forward to tomorrow. Okay, new day in London. It's super windy today. Have you ever like walked into the wind and it's so windy that when you talk, you like choke on the wind? That's how windy it was earlier. It's died down a little bit, but. Um, still cloudy today but you can see the sky in some parts because it's so windy it like keeps blowing the clouds away so that's good anyway we're just kind of walking to Westminster Abbey now um I was gonna talk about um Big Bend because Big Ben because it's been under construction so if we had been here in 2020 it would have been like covered in scaffolding so it's really nice that we're here now and it's been recently uncovered the top at least um it's actually elizabeth tower and big ben is just the clock so but yeah it's really really nice so all these people walking by are looking at me so i'm gonna stop
Okay, we are on the sunlit side of Westminster Abbey right now. We're gonna walk around the entire thing and take photos and stuff. Um, the sun's actually hitting it for now. Oh, now it's fading. Anyway, so Westminster Abbey was originally built in 1065 and it was redone in 1269 and it's gothic architecture and as you can tell it's super ornate and beautiful and there's golden accents. It has been the site of every royal uh, coronation since the original building was built and also a bunch of royal weddings and it's just beautiful architecture. We're not gonna go inside though because obviously you have to buy a ticket and it's expensive. It's 25 pound or like $32, which just isn't in the budget. Um, at least I'm not prioritizing it on this trip. So, although it is gorgeous on the inside as well. Now we're just gonna walk around. I'll show you some more footage and I'll take some photos. So yeah. <laughs> and then St. Margaret's Church is right next to the Abbey and it's pretty cute too. Okay, we're at St. James Park on our way to Buckingham Palace to see the changing of the guard. the change of the guards today um, apparently they only do it daily during the summer and then not during the summer they do it Mondays Wednesdays Fridays and Sundays and today is Thursday so unlike all the people over there that are just standing and waiting for nothing to happen we walked over to this park what is this park the green park and dad's gonna look for more birds um, we have a 12 o'clock time ticket for the National Gallery so we'll kind of work our way over there Okay, so we did the National Gallery and it was beautiful inside with the architecture and also the paintings and such. They had a lot of impressionist work, including Vincent van Gogh, who's like my favorite, and Monet, who I also love. They also had some sunflowers by van Gogh and I haven't seen any of his sunflowers yet, so it was really nice to see that. And there's a lot of other non-impressionist paintings, Renaissance kind of stuff and now we are just gonna head back towards the hotel and kind of relax for a little while get some lunch at a grocery store or something and head back out again tonight to wander and take photos yeah it's been a really nice day so far the sun's actually out right now but it's still incredibly windy so yeah
wandering around, headed towards Piccadilly Circus just to take photos and stuff. The sun is peeking in and out like it has been. I wanted to talk about something kind of serious though, and that's pigeons. And I know a lot of people hate pigeons, but I saw one on the bridge that had like string wrapped around its foot and its toes were all swollen and it's probably gonna die and it was really sad and made me want to cry. So this is just another attempt at me trying to get the world a little bit better and saying don't litter. I saw another pigeon too that we were while well, we walked past that had something on its foot but it wasn't as bad. Anyway, it was just I can't stop thinking about that poor pigeon. But yeah. I can't believe there's Canada geese here. They seem so out of place. <laughs> Nowhere near Canada. Okay, this has turned into quite the bird vlog. There's a ton here in St. James Park. A lot of waterfowl and parakeets, which are released pets that have just grown in population here in London. Um, but yeah, what's your favorite bird you've seen? You guys can go that way. <laughs> Sorry. What's your favorite bird you've seen? My favorite, gosh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite. All the ducks. I like the coots, the ducks, the geese, um, everything. I did. We did see Gosling, I already talked about that. They were really darling. There's um, a magpie here too. Oh, and a magpie. Yeah. So yeah, that's the bird update. Hey, so we've made it to Piccadilly. We spent some time in Waterstones, which is a bookstore. It's kind of like Barnes and Noble in the US. And beautiful bookstore. Um, I got the fourth Harry Potter because I get a Harry Potter from every country that I go to in that language. Or, you know, obviously it's in English, but. Um, and then dad got a bird guide to Britain and Europe. So yeah, now we are just gonna kind of walk around a little bit in Piccadilly Circus. In case you didn't know, it's kind of just like a little area that has a bunch of shops and theaters. It's kind of like um, a smaller version of Times Square. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so if you see all like the lights like that, so yeah, okay. We didn't really spend a lot of time in Piccadilly Circus, just kind of walked through. And then we ended up in Chinatown, which connects to it. And it was really awesome in there, such a vibe. And we ate dinner at Dumplings Legend, which was really good. We got appetizer of dumplings, which were so, so good, amazing. And then I got a seafood noodle dish and dad got Kung Pao chicken. So it was a really good meal, not like the cheapest, but as you've seen, we've been eating uh, grocery store meals for the most part. We don't really eat out a lot. So this is probably gonna be one of our big meals for the trip. And now we are back at the apartment. Tomorrow we are gonna go to some more museums and also go to Hyde Park. Make sure you're subscribed so you'll see that video when it goes online. Thank you for watching and making it all the way to the end. You're awesome. All right, see you next time.